Sunday, November 6th. And Oh, well, my birds are flying. And I'm just enjoying this wonderful country out here. Waiting for the birds to come in so I can lock up and uh feed them. Go watch some uh go watch some some Sunday night football and take care of some of the businesses that I have to take care of. But the birds have been flying for like 40 minutes. It's, uh, it was pretty, it's, it's, it's maybe 4.30 now or something. And it's really interesting that um, today was a very sunny day, but it's getting dark pretty fast. I mean, 4.30 and it's, it's, it, it looks like, you know, it looks like 6.30 6 here. <laughs> 7, 7 o'clock, you know. Um, so I expect the birds to, I mean, they usually fly until it gets dark because, you know, they, they want to give, I know they want to give me, in the evening time, they want to give me a good hour and a half. I have two birds here that don't usually fly with a group, so they're not in that, the best condition. There's one right there. He's trying to land, there's the other. And there's, and there's a group. So they, you know, they, they kind of, kind of sway in the group to fly down, which is fine, you know. I kind of want to go in too. But I wanted to just do a quick video. Um, I came to the conclusion yesterday that I'm going to have to add some more to my loft the next year. So I've decided to I've decided to go in that direction. And I uh, between the loft and this old barn, there's 12 feet. So I'm just going to go take the loft right up against it and add another 12 feet length by by 10 feet deep um, and I think that's that's gonna be all the loft I, I would ever need <laughs> you know I, I I said the 10 by 20 would be which is this one would be all the loft I ever need but as it turns out in my first year I realized oh man I need a bigger loft you know and if if I if I end up needing more space if things go okay and I end up needing more space I'll come this way and I'll add another eight feet so in, in totality, I'll have uh, 28, I'll have a 40 foot loft, you know, and I can easily do that next year. I, I could add on, I could add on 12 foot here and 8 foot there, and I could um, easily have a, a 40 foot loft, 40 by 10 deep. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if I, I don't know if at this point in my life I need such a big loft, but you know, you, you never know, you know. I'm having fun with the birds, you know, <clears throat> and um, you know. I work hard, I, I don't party, I don't, you know, I don't drink, I don't, uh, you know, this is just my, my hobby, you know, and, um, and I love it. So, you know, at this point in my life, why not? Why not enjoy my hobby and, you know, some, some guys buy motorcycles, fancy sports cars, you know, I, and I love them too. I, I'm just not passionate about them like I am about my, my birds. So I'll probably add next year, I think another 12 foot right there. On that side, this side of the loft right here, and right here, I think I'll add another 12 foot right here, going that way, and on I'll repair this old barn, and <laughs> and somebody was suggesting to me that I should, I should um I should make that into that whole side of this barn, into a pigeon loft, which which is doable, you know I mean, with time you know it's doable. But the thing is, I have my chickens right there. My chickens right here. And the truth is, I don't know if I want my chickens so close to my birds. I don't know how healthy that is for the birds, you know. If anybody has chickens and birds close together, let me know. Because I'm, 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 I'm you know. You know, I could, I could easily, I could easily build this in here, you know. I could build it in, into, into a, you know a loft you know and I could have it done relatively quickly if I wanted to but you know then what and then I'm gonna be totally spending my whole day messing with pigeons you know and then it becomes a big job as opposed to a hobby and fun you know so 
something to think about. What if I if I get a few loved hands? So you have a couple of you people that want to do it, you know. That's fine. But I, you know, I, I don't think, you know, this 20 foot loft was supposed to be enough for me. You know, I got it. I built the aviaries. I decorated the insides, you know, sectionized them, and I'm really finding that that I need, I need at least one more section. So since that's 12, you know, that's 12 foot there, I think I'll just go right up against that barn, block that whole area off there, block, you know, take the barn door off and just make it the sides. And, and I think that would be plenty of love for, for me at this point. But the birds are still flying. Um, I have this little, got, got this little cat right here, his name is Louie. Got him like two months ago, tiny little baby. And Louie, we just started letting him out and he's having a uh, having an interest in my birds so he has to be trained that, that, that the birds are out of bound but we need him here because you know uh, I, I've seen some little mice and stuff and you know every, every farm has to have a couple of cats to take care of the little little critters right Louis <laughs> yeah it is what it is but um yeah the birds are flying and uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here just to show you guys you know the outside setup uh, I have a, a pigeon buddy from Quintero Lofts. He wanted me to show him how, how how this was done here. This is dirty right now, but he wanted me to show him how it was done. And um, I'm gonna show him how it was how it was done. I didn't I didn't build it, but I have to show him how exactly how that was built. And and tomorrow is my big love cleaning day. I mean, my love don't really stay dirty. I, you know, I clean my love every day, sometimes twice a day. Uh, I think I clean it once a day. And... You know, the birds, the birds don't really stay. It stays relatively clean, you know. Um, I try to do that for my birds to stay healthy. It's it really different clean, but tomorrow is a big day when I clean. I clean my my trays once a week. Once a week, I clean my. And that's these things right here, you know, from the, the aviary, the bottoms of the aviaries. I clean them once a week, so they're dirty right now. And then I take that poop right there. And I, I, I do organic stuff with my birds, so I, I turn that poop into for my garden over there. <laughs> so it's a it's a whole recycling deal that's going on here. You know, it's a, it's a home. It's a, I would say what's a, I would say it's a half homestead. You know, I have my I run my business for my home. And <laughs> one other thing that I, I've I've been doing is I've been I've been wearing different shoes outdoors than when I come inside the pigeon coop uh, you know I just I just I've just been doing that and I wear this pair of slippers when I'm in the, when I'm in the, the chicken the, the pigeon coop and I wear different shoes when I'm out and, and the, the this is what I have right now I wear these and I try not to do any kind of chicken uh, pigeon cross pollination you know I mean I just try, you know. And when I clean my my loft, I always wear masks. And yep. All right. Well, you're the birds. They, they wanted they wanted to land. I think 45 minutes or 50 minutes is about how long they've been flying now. It's just getting dark so fast. Is that my youngster? Nope, it's not. By the way guys, are some of these birds that are flying here, I know that I'll have to sell some of them in the next six weeks, like, uh, two months or so, like like by, by January 1, simply because, simply because I, I don't have enough room, you know. I have about about 30 birds that fly, in a, in, from, you know, 30 young birds that fly. I have another... 15 in oh uh, maybe another 15 in here so 
I'm not uh, well. I have an uh, birds that don't fly. I have about I have about twelve, and I have thirty that fly. So that's forty-two birds in my young section, right? I have about ten hens in my hen section, and I have about sixteen to eighteen cocks in this cock section. So so you do the math, you know. Again, I have I have a twenty by ten loft, so. Um, yeah, I, I'll have to sell some of those birds that are flying. I mean, it, it breaks my heart, you know, because, you know, having started back this year with, with birds, those are actually the first birds that have been flying around here. And they've flown so well. Uh, most, uh, I would say about 70% of them, 75% of them have, have, flo have flown 200 miles. 100% of them have flown 150 miles. I haven't lost any birds this year. And some of those birds are flying really, really well, you know. And some of them are bred, I've, you know, I studied and bred well, you know, uh, and so now um, I know I'll have to sell some because you just can't, like, like some people say, you just can't keep them all and I can't, you know, I'm, I mean, after my first year, I'm already thinking about adding on 12 feet to my loft, you know, so I, you can't keep them all and I don't want to be like a slave to the birds, like birds birds all day you know i gotta clean i gotta feed i gotta fly you know i want to enjoy other things also you know while still having the birds and perhaps competing at the highest level you know and i know there's a balance there somewhere and i i intend to find it i i don't think another 12 foot of, of pigeon coop would <laughs> would mess with that balance um i spend about an hour and a half every day feeding birds cleaning the loft and uh when they're flying I, you know, they go for, they would range for, an, uh, these days, these days they're ranging for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and then they come back into town, and then, um, then I enjoy them, you know. In the meantime, while they're ranging, I'm cleaning, you know, there they go, still flying, it's starting to get dark now, and yeah, so some, some of them will have to be sold, I have some kittle birds up in the air there, I have some ornate birds, I have a couple of uh, hubens, which which fl which are flying really well. I have a couple of um, sharky birds up there, sharky mixes, and a couple of other things up there, hardy kruger birds up there, and um. Uh, I can't raise them next year, you know, so I'll just keep a few for me and then try and get some youngsters. This year, next, you know, this breeding season coming up and from that point on I'll start uh, entering, entering the one love races and uh, perhaps doing some more heavy training. Um, but this is a good bunch flying here. They, they've all been, 75% uh, of them have been trained to, to, to uh, 200 miles. And like I said, I haven't lost any birds this year. And, and I didn't train particularly easy. I made some big jumps in my training and I also, I also changed my direction. Uh, I went from training um, north, you know, northwards. I went st straight south for the 200. So, yeah. These birds are, I mean, they are heroes. They fly, they, you know, they love flying and they fly. And you could just tell that these are thoroughbreds, man. They're just, they're just straight up thoroughbred birds. They just, they just want to fly. You know, at this time of evening, you know, they, you know, they, their only incentive is, they have no incentive. They're not particularly hungry. Um, <laughs> they just simply love flying. Look at them, look at them go. I have this one hand that just, she just can't keep up with them because she, she just started flying and she doesn't have the condition so she kind of pulls them this way it's all good those birds are heroes all right guys thanks for watching this video it's already 14 minutes and a half long 14 and a half minutes and let me try and catch these birds and enjoy them a little bit without having to hold this camera up and we talk soon this is curtis at air champ loves um Hope you guys have a wonderful day today, the rest of the day. Love your family and friends, love your neighbors, and be good. Be good. 
Okay, bye-bye.